Well, another day, another crypto bro L, a billion dollar crypto gaming startup promised riches and delivered disaster. Axie Infinity's vision of a play to earn video game has crumbled and the company behind it now tells the players who bought into the hype it was never about the money anyway. Look at these charts, look at them. Of course it was all about the money. That was the whole point of the game, to make money. Hey everyone, Obelzy not here and welcome to even more Crypto Bros Taking L's. Huge shout out to at Crypto Bros Lose and Coiners Taking L. Let's get started. So, this next one isn't from either of those, but rather from my friend Amethyst Phoenix, both on YouTube and Twitter. She said, so, uh, NFT slash Crypto Bro just messaged me this on Twitter and yeah, no, I'm not getting involved in your scam and you don't have 250,000 followers. Hello, my name is Cutie Pie. I'm promoting an NFT on Twitter. I have a team of 20 people. We have 250,000 followers. Today is a discount day. Do you want to have information about it? Uh, yeah, how about no? You have 5,000 followers. They'll probably be like, we never said Twitter though. We'll reveal it after we take your money. And now the Luna horror stories just keep coming in. Put about $100,000 of her life savings in Luna when it was $100 and held until now. I still haven't told my wife. I lost a larger amount and told my wife today. After the initial shock and disbelief, she's been great. But I'm on a tight leash now and she wants me to get the hell out of crypto. I mean, I can't really blame her for wanting you to get out of crypto after you got burned by Luna. And the lunatic zombie, who probably won't be much of a lunatic after this, haven't told my wife yet either. Shit. And guess how much this person put into it. $800,000 borrowed too, as well as $600,000 of life savings into Luna. Now I have nothing. I feel dead inside. Quite ironic, considering you're a Luna zombie. I can't eat or sleep. I have to remind myself to breathe. Hashtag crypto. Oh my lord, that's just awful. So much money being lost. Dubai cryptocurrency expert assaulted by investors for losing money, my lord. Six people hit the victim, stole his money, watches, and jewelry after millions lost in trade. Oh my lord, I can't believe it was going this far. Cyanide and Happiness tweets, we don't do NFTs. If you see a Cyanide and Happiness NFT, that wasn't us. If you bought a Cyanide and Happiness NFT, you got scammed. Also lol. And someone else replies, don't know why you had to add the also lol at the end there. Shouldn't glorify vulnerable people getting scammed. I mean, yeah, I guess so. You shouldn't glorify it, but also they should have done the research before buying into NFTs, throwing in thousands of dollars. Cyanide and Happiness replies, NFT bros losing money is fun than any of our comics. Damn. And now we go to r slash legal advice. Landlord held my security deposit as Bitcoin in Massachusetts. Pretty much what it says in the title. I moved out last month, lease ended April 30th, and my landlord sent me a check for $160448 last week. My original deposit was $3,000, equal to one month's rent. Yeah, rent is all sorts of screwed up. I represent the rent is too damn high party. I emailed and asked for a list of the expenses that were incurred that resulted in the lesser deposit and they told me yesterday that they had held the money in money market account and it had lost value over the year. I called them immediately and asked what brokerage they'd use. They told me it was held at Bank of America. After some heated prying, they finally admitted that they had put the deposit into Bitcoin via BOA's exchange. You know, it's one thing to put your own money in there, it's a whole nother to put other people's money in there. Now introducing Web5, because crypto bros can't count. Web5, an extra decentralized web platform. Will this actually catch on? Who knows? There are just way too many projects out there. And now, shared an ape I bought with girlfriend we want 50-50 on, I did all the handling because she just doesn't understand the blockchain. She told her coworker about it while he was at her house party and he asked to see. She logged all the way into MetaMask to show him on OpenSea. He later went back and gifted it to himself since it was already logged in. This loss has caused her breakup and now I think she might be seeing him. Damn, NFTs are even breaking up relationships now. And McTo Cody replies, don't worry buddy, she was probably seeing him before you broke up two laughing emoji. God damn, Twitter has no chill. 
And now, something called offline cash, Bitcoin that's easy to save, spend, and hold in a self-sovereign way, and you can see right there, millibitcoin notes. I thought the whole point of cryptocurrency was that it wasn't physical currency, but okay, nothing says the future of money quite like turning it back into literal cash. And offline cash replied, we agree. Most currencies like euros or dollars have both an electronic and cash form. No reason hashtag Bitcoin can't have the same. Cash is the most popular peer-to-peer -peer payment method by far. It services the most disadvantaged. This is cash backed by non-state money. Except the problem is that Bitcoin is way too volatile to use as a currency. I know inflation has been crazy, but this would take it to a whole nother level. Someone tweets cryptocurrency is like tulip bulbs. 1637, never forget. And the reply? Since when do tulips have inherent value beyond aesthetics? Poor analogy. I mean, tulips are at least a physical thing you can have. Imagine if there were memes during tulip mania. And now, all my apes, stolen. Part 375,837, breaking. Board Ape Yacht Club and other side metaverse Discord servers have been hacked. Millions worth of NFTs reportedly stolen. You know, at least with the tulips, you have to physically break into people's houses to steal them. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, then why not like, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell? And this next one was oh so close. Oh wow, I wonder where all that money went. Please listen to yourself and realize that there is no FUD, which means fear, uncertainty, and doubt. You're in a Ponzi scheme. So, any project that pumps and has a sell-off is a Ponzi scheme? If so, 95% of crypto is a Ponzi to you. Have a good day! Problem is that a lot of crypto bros just keep throwing their money in everything. Doesn't matter if it has the signs of a Ponzi scheme. A lot of them just think number goes up and must go up forever. And for this next one, damn, even the pizza got rugged. Binance tweets, who came down to the hashtag Binance Pizza Shop and Cans? Let's take a look at some of the best shots from today. And more Binance content, don't forget. It really looks like they just slapped a bunch of Binance logos on everything. And the pizza itself? Well, you can judge for yourself, but to me, it's not looking good. And you know what's the funniest thing about this? Is that I've heard they don't even accept crypto. And here's another crypto pizza, at least this one looks a little more appetizing. Today I am announcing Bitcoin Pizza, a new national pizza brand that is launching in 10 cities. The first pizzas will be delivered this Saturday, which is the 11 year anniversary of the infamous Bitcoin Pizza transaction. Even with Bitcoin dropping this much, it's still the most expensive of pizza of all time, so yeah. And David replies, bro, WTF, credit cards only? How are you not gonna accept Bitcoin for Bitcoin pizza? <laughs> It's like they don't actually care about the Bitcoin and they're just doing it for the marketing. Jose Canseco tweets, looking for a crypto token developer. And if you haven't heard of him, oh, he's quite the character. Greg replies, hey, it's Greg, DM me, Jose, I can help. Jose says, hey, are you a token dev? And the reply, no way, Jose. <laughs> I love how this dude went into a retired baseball player's DMs just for the sole purpose of making this joke. Love it. Unfortunately, it turns out it's not all good news because we may have a candidate for top 10 anime betrayals, Multiverse of Greg's NFTs. God damn it, Greg, how could you do this to us? Bonnie tweets, I am gonna have sex tonight. And RickCEO.eth replies, alone or with somebody? Bonnie replies, I don't accept criticism or roast from people who invest in cryptocurrency. Only thing Rick CEO is gonna be investing in now is this ratio. Oh, well she then replied, stop using my tweets for quote clout. Fine, Bonnie, we'll stop, we'll just move on. Sheesh. Doquan tweets, Baby Luna, my dearest creation named after my greatest invention. Only one of the greatest scams in the industry. Imagine being named after a failed cryptocurrency. Hey, at least it's not a ridiculous name. You can just say, I really like the moon, or something like that. And now the hottest NFT marketplace is mostly users selling to themselves. I mean, we kind of figured that the whole NFT market was just crypto bros selling to other crypto bros, with the occasional theft of thousands of them, just to spice things up a little, you know? Looks Rare encourages users to trade via Looks token incentives. 
trading has effectively helped to mask the cooling NFT demand. So they're trading with each other to try to prop up the NFT market that's failing right now? Clearly it's not working, but okay. And so we're all in agreement that we're not gonna tell our wives that we sent a bunch of money to a random wallet in the hopes that three guys were gonna build an MMO and then send us a bunch of tokens later, then got rugged, right? Right? Yeah, totally. This next one's actually from celebrities promoting scams. This time it's David Dobrik promoting a so-called Bored Bunny NFT. Sounds like a ripoff of the Bored Apes, which really is just a ripoff of art itself. Not really, but let's read. Bored Bunny NFTs, a project inspired by the Bored Ape Yacht Club NFTs, or in this case, Yatch Club because they can't spell, released its tokens on the 5th of January only for the Ethereum rays to get plugged out sometime after it went live. Ooh, such a mystery. Who could have pulled the plug on that one? The non-fungible tokens raised approximately 2,000 ETH within the first few hours before all the money was drained out from the project, and a significant amount of the Ethereum raised was transferred to Binance. Well, 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 would you look at that. I'd rather invest in physical rugs than these rug pulls. And now it's nice to see one of these NFTs sell for its true value for once. One million dollar clip art rock NFT accidentally sold for less than a cent. Yeah, less than a penny. NFTs are one of the most controversial tech things around at the moment and for good reason. We got people getting hacked people defending the hackers, people buying NFTs for a million dollars and selling them for a cent, and it's contributing to our environment getting screwed up. Yeah. And what happens after you lose all that sweet, sweet money and have to move in with your parents again? Your mom listening to you explain how all money is fake after you lost your ass in crypto and had to move back in. That face says it all. By the way, absolutely no shame to anyone who has to live with their parents because I get it, the economy is screwed up. How to be or stay poor in 2022. This dude's Twitter account ends in BTC. One, watch the news. Two, side with a political party. Three, hate rich people. Four, don't invest in hashtag Bitcoin because one said so. Good luck, and this was in April. Then, just a month later, started my first shift today at McDonald's, had to let go of my eagle. Ego, I have no idea why I said eagle. <laughs> anyway. Screw hashtag Terra Luna in this whole crypto space. No shame to people who work at McDonald's, but my dude, Bitcoin was at least somewhat established. Terra Luna, that's a whole nother story. And now. I invested all of my money in crypto. I'm at a 200% loss right now. I cannot contribute to my family at all. I cannot participate in any activity. Crypto took everything for me. It's definitely not an investment place. It's just a system that makes the rich richer. I mean, yeah, I bet there are quite a few ultra wealthy people manipulating those crypto markets considering how decentralized they are. But you really shouldn't have put everything in one place. You didn't listen to literally the most basic investment advice there is. AccuDreams griefed. Careless code leads to $45 million locked. $34 million or 11,539 ETH is permanently locked into the AccuDreams contract forever. It cannot be retrieved by individual users or by the dev team. Damn, not even the dev team can get into that. The refund processing, which is complete, sets each bid status to one. Holy shit, you could lose everything from a piece of code. That just blows my mind. Yo, can someone explain this to me like I'm five, please? Yeah, imagine taking all the money of a small nation, locking it in a safe, and then firing it into the sun. Or some might say losing it into the ether, wink wink. Funds are locked, but the refunds will go out, right? But the refunds? No, there's no refunds, sorry, that money is locked forever. For this next one, why would YouTube do this? Why? Matt's Crypto, YouTube deleted my channel, and I have no idea why. And right below this, dude shills NFT alerts, tools, and coaching, and $10 in free Bitcoin from Coinbase. You can never stop the shill. I knew this had to be a mistake, or at least was praying that it was some sort of mistake and not something I wasn't aware of happening on my channel. What about all those cryptos you like to shill? 
Though jokes aside, this is probably the least enforced policy on YouTube. Scams. Content offering cash gifts, get-rich-quick schemes, or pyramid schemes. Sending money without a tangible product in a pyramid structure. Ah, on a somewhat related note, maybe this is why the MLMs or multi-level marketing companies can get away with it. They're offering a product so they don't technically break this rule. Susan be like, we got one? Our job here is done ignores the thousands of scammers on her platform. For this next one, just look at the new Binance emoji. And it was posted on 420, the birthday of a certain individual associated with that certain symbol. But yeah, I can't say it because, well, Susan. And then Binance goes ahead and tweets, well, that was obviously really embarrassing. We're not sure how that emoji got through several layers of review without anyone noticing. But we've immediately flagged the issue, pulled it down, and the new emoji design is being rolled out as we speak. Let's hope this time is a little less embarrassing, cause Binance, you've been taking a lot of L's. And for this next one, Virgil Griffith, who formerly worked for the Ethereum Foundation, will serve jail time for traveling to North Korea to present on blockchain technology. Five years for helping North Korea evade sanctions. Now what made this individual think this was remotely a good idea? You can get in trouble in the US, you can get in trouble in North Korea, it's just way too much risk for what? For shilling crypto to North Korea? Yeah. What is your worst hashtag NFT purchase? I can't believe I paid 3 ETH for this. Look at it. Thousands of dollars for that. Just got bullied by my accountant via email, AMA. Is the only income you have related to your crypto activity? You don't have anything else going on? I'm pretty sure your accountant isn't bullying you. They're just very concerned that you have all of your money in a very volatile market. Thankful for support of friends. Though I gotta ask, how many of those are your actual friends and how many are just in it for the money? If bored apes ever fail, I now have physicals in every room of my home to remind me how bad I screwed up. A moment of silence for all the fallen apes. Be Anyway, I'd like to thank all of my patrons, especially Dark Garden, Fake Corvus, Catalan Cormetti, Nightcrawlers, Spoony the Rogue, and Vengevins. You can join in the link below, and thank you so much for watching! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. If you have something interesting to say, don't forget to comment. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. See you guys next time.